The welterweight division has been stuck in a logjam for a while, with the welterweight champion being in hiatus since late March and majority of the top 5 fighters having competed for over 4 months and for some of them even longer. Which is extremely disappointing to hear since the welterweight division is extremely stacked, I mean look at the top 10. But sadly it's the only weight class where nothing happens. There's only been 2 contenders who have been active and moving up the rankings and that's been JDM and Ian Gary. Besides that, everyone else hasn't moved one bit and to be honest this isn't anything new. I mean we've seen this before with the UFC, letting Covington and Masvidal sit on top for the division for so long. Especially Covington, somehow he's still ranked number 2, which is crazy since he hasn't competed since early last year and somehow he's next in line for a title shot. Talk about the white privileges, am I right? And as for Leon Edwards man, guys I hate to say it but that head kick was the worst thing to ever happen to this weight class. Dude isn't active at all. To be honest, I kind of miss Usman when he was on top. At least he was active, he was consistently defending the belt. The only negative thing I could say about Usman's title reign was the fact that he only fought three people, and two out of those three people got rematches, which also caused a logjam for the division as well. I actually blame the UFC for that. And now that brings us to Bilal Muhammad, who's arguably the real number one contender. But that's because he's waiting to receive his title shot at this point, which might take as long to 2025 at this point. All jokes aside, you can tell that the UFC does not want Bilal to be the welterweight champion since the UFC is trying to feed Bilal to Shafkat Rachmanov, so Bilal is in a very frustrating situation. Since Kobe is getting the next title shot, who knows afterwards if Bilal is even going to get a title shot. At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Shafkat gets it next. Hamza Chimeev is ranked number 4, talking about someone who's been unactive for a while. But it doesn't even matter anymore. He is in welterweight. He's fighting in the middleweight division now, so we're going to skip him. Ah yes, Gilbert Burns. Look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. He's the only fighter that's been super active this year. I don't really have too much negative things to say about Gilbert. He competed three times this year against Magni at January, Masvidal on April, and Bilal on May. If anything, he was too active, which would eventually cause him to get a lot of injuries, to the point that he hasn't been able to compete for the rest of the year but he's the only guy in the top 5 that's been trying to make the welterweight division move. And now that brings us to Shafkat Rachmanov, who's ranked number 6. He hasn't been able to compete since March, and to be honest, he's another fighter that's been looking for a fight. I mean, he was gonna fight Kelvin Gastelum, who's not even ranked in welterweight. Obviously, that fight fell through, and it doesn't help that he's the boogeyman of the division. So nobody really wants to fight him. So he's kind of in a weird spot right now where he doesn't really know who to fight or what to do right now. And now that brings us to Wonder Boy, who's ranked number seven, Jeff Neal, who's ranked number eight, and Sean Brady, who's ranked number nine. Okay, Sean Brady and Wonder Boy are both fighters who haven't competed since late last year. And somehow these two guys still kept their rankings. And as for Jeff Neal, he was supposed to fight Ian Gary at UFC 292, but he pulled out for an undisclosed injury which he missed weight by 5 pounds, so we don't even know if this dude can make this weight class anymore. So let that sink in, fighters who are ranked number 1 to 9 aren't fighting each other. This is a huge problem for the welterweight division, it has become too political, majority of these fighters are waiting for better stylistic matchups or they're holding out for a title shot. I'm hoping that Covington and Leon Edwards happens at the end of the year with the co-main event being Shafkat Rachmanov versus Bilal. And man, if you could put Usman versus Wonderboy in that same card, that would really get the gears moving for this division. And that's why the welterweight division is in chaos. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me or not. But, and don't forget to leave a like. And oh yeah, don't also forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys on my next one.